Hello everyone, my name is Araceli Garcia and I am your ELA TOSA for secondary schools. I just wanted to share a cool tool that you might find useful as you're trying to prepare your students for uh, upcoming uh, exams, such as, of course, our NWEA or for CASP. And uh, this will be a useful tool. I know that some of you might have already uh, completed some testing for the winter, but we know that we have the spring test and for our juniors and for our, uh, you know, third through eighth grade students, uh, that's going to be important also for uh, them to do well on the CASP. So here's a, a tool called Tools for Teachers. Uh, it was created by the SBAC Consortium. So it is, uh, there are many lessons and ideas and strategies that have been vetted by teachers, have used them in their own classroom. And it's pretty simple. I'm gonna just do a quick little walkthrough. So, uh, one of the easiest way to find some ideas of or lessons is to just go right here into the search bar once you get to this website. And let's say I want to teach main idea. So, right, one of the things it's going to do, it's going to prompt me to log in. So you're, you're going to log in uh, using your, uh, again, your access uh, information. So it's going to ask you a few questions. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm here. And then uh, you do need to have your sign in. Uh, right, so I already have mine there, and if you forgot, you can always, you know, request one. You can, you know, uh, go ahead and, you know, if you forgot yours, you can do all of that, forgot password. But go ahead and log on. And then once you log on now, you can go ahead and use this tool. So I just want to do a quick walkthrough, uh, and then you can go ahead and use that. Uh, you might even want to use it throughout the year, right? Or maybe you're going to be absent one year, uh, one day. Uh, or you have, uh, you know, uh, a certain lesson and you want to just up some of those uh, skills, right? So notice right here, there's that main idea uh, lesson that I, topic that I put in. Notice how many resources there are. So they're going to give you everything from all different grade levels. So you can even filter a little bit more. So that's one way, right? So if I click on this, let's say I'm teaching high school. This is what I would see. So I'm going to click on here and then it's going to take me to this page. And here you will see uh, everything is going to provide, right? So you're going to have the preparation for it. Um, it's going to give you a little like stretch break idea, which is great. Uh, it's going to give you ideas for entrance and exit tickets. It's going to give you a very detailed lesson, step-by-step -step lesson plan. It's going to give you the handouts that you need, uh, even what students can do for uh, independent practice. So if I just kind of go through here, and uh, you can kind of read that. You can even post this up on your wall for the learning goal or maybe, you know, what you want them to be able to do by the time they leave their classroom. Uh, it's going to give you all kinds of different information. If you click here, say, for example, I'm uh, going through something I'm not too sure what they're talking about. Notice how it has this little uh, hyperlink and it'll tell you, you know, what is this strategy and it'll take you actually to another page, but it'll, it'll give you more information about that specific strategy. So here is again, even tells you what you can do for your ELLs, um, tells you about other resources you can do. Uh, here's that again, this was kind of a cool one because it uses uh, a technique that's used in theater classes. Uh, then here's that step-by-step, -step, right? It even delineates what is, uh, uh, again, levels of questions. Take a look here, the DOK1, DOK one through three. So we wanna make sure that our students are getting to that higher level, but I need to scaffold them towards that higher level. Uh, here's again, that independent practice. I wanted to show you the handouts that it has. So if I go here and I view what is their en entrance ticket, take a look, right? So this is an easy PDF. I might wanna copy and paste it onto my canvas or onto, uh, I love using Pear Deck. So I might copy and paste this onto Pear Deck and have students answer it this way, right? So that's that. Um, here is actually the excerpts of the articles that they're gonna be reading. And so it gives them, right, something very similar to what they might see on some of those tests and has them practice a specific strategy that you're teaching them to identify main idea, right? And here's another one. So this can be done in group work with partners, right, or independently, but definitely gives you a lots of information here and even gives you like things to consider. So this is again, using tools for teachers. Okay, I also wanted to show you another place that you can find some uh, lesson plans and ideas, and that is here in the playlist. So if you click on playlist, 
you can actually filter a lot more. So I can go here, let's say I want to do ELA and I'm looking for a grade, uh, say an eighth grade, and then it's going to take me to a slew of choices now, right? So here, of course, it has all of them um, and I can now filter. So let's say I want to do, um, so if I click on one of these, it'll bring up the lessons that I want. So right now it's giving me all of them, but I really want to do something that has to do with research. So I can go to research and I can even filter a little bit more. Let's say I want them to just talk, uh, look at uh, lessons for evidence. I can go that way. I can actually pinpoint a specific standard, but this is again, takes me back to uh, eighth grade, how to use evidence, right? I can even look at a performance task. So once again, it'll take you here. And the cool thing about this one is that it'll tell you what different students at different levels are able to do. So for example, uh, for this assignment, students who are at the low grade level, let's say I'm looking at my SMAP data, I, I already know a number of students who struggle. I, I, it, this might be their learning target, right? And those who are near and those who are above. So I can also do some enrichment. And so if I click on the actual lesson, it'll take me here. And once again, it gives me a learning goal, criteria goal, step-by-step, -step, everything I need to do, all the way down to the handouts that I want to, to use. And notice how these handouts, one of the cool things again, is that it'll um, give me all the different handouts. It'll tell me how to do differentiation right? Um, and in some of these, it even tells you like, okay, this is something you might want to use with your uh, below, uh, you know, grade level, your near grade level, and your above and advanced. So um, really useful tool that I highly recommend, not just, for, you know, right before the testing, but maybe throughout. So hopefully that helps. Uh, and if you have any questions, you can always email me. Again, this is Araceli Garcia, and I am your ELA TOSA. Thank you.